Hello crafty friends, this is Flavia and I hope all is well. For today's crafty tip video, I will show you how I store my stamp cleaner and my process for keeping my stamps always clean. To make it easier for me to use my stamp cleaner, I like to transfer it to a pump dispenser like this one. I got it at Amazon and it is actually meant for storing acetone or nail polish remover. I never show this on my videos, but right in front of me I always have this acrylic tray with the products that I reach for the most when making note cards, such as a spray bottle with water, my anti-static powder tool, a small spray bottle with alcohol, my two favorite liquid adhesives that I transfer to these fine tip bottles, a mini bottle of Ranger Glossy Accents, a pair of self-lock tweezers, this gorgeous mermaid brush that I like to use to swipe stuff off of my note cards, and of course my stamp cleaner dispenser. Having your most used products organized and right in front of you when you are crafting is a time saver. To label some of these bottles, I use my brother P-Touch Label Maker, and if you're interested, I will have in the description box down below a list of all products mentioned in today's video. I love using this pump dispenser because it is very practical and it is so easy to use that you can actually do it with just one hand. To use this pump dispenser, simply lift the lid and press the center down to pump some of the stamp cleaner out. I feel that by using this dispenser, I have more control over the amount that I am applying to my sponge and I do not end up wasting my stamp cleaner as much as I used to. Another thing that I like to keep handy and I always have it in front of me is this small container with a few pieces of sponges that I use to clean up my stamps. These blue ones are those scrub sponges that we use in the kitchen to do the dishes, but I prefer using it in my craft room because it is just more fun. I cut them into four pieces and I only use the soft side, which is the side with a lighter blue color. And I always wet these sponges before using them so they become softer and I do not end up damaging my stamps. I also have this white squares that I cut out of this scrubber pad too. Before I started using a pump dispenser and sponges, this is what I used to use to clean up my stamps. This is a scrubber pad by Hero Arts. It is a great tool to have and I used it for many years until it started falling apart, probably because I have dropped it so many times. I prefer my new method because I feel that it is more practical and compact, plus it works with stamps in many different sizes. But this scrubber pad is also a great option. So, since my scrubber pad is kind of old and I like my pump dispenser method better, I decided to cut some square pieces out of this scrubber pad so I can keep it in my small container along with the blue sponges. And I actually prefer using these white square pieces. They are simply the best thing for cleaning up your stamps. Also, because I usually have a clean cloth around when I am crafting, if I'm using a small stamp, sometimes I end up just using the clean cloth to absorb the stamp cleaner and clean up my stamps. I used to use the Recollection Stamp Cleaner, which is a brand sold at Michael's Craft Store. I really like that one, it works wonderfully, but since I ran out of it, I decided to try something new, which is the Stays On Stamp Cleaner, and I like it a lot too. It does an amazing job cleaning up your stamps, even if you do not clean it immediately. Also, keep in mind that we can simply rinse off our stamps with soapy water or even just water to clean them up, but I have to confess that sometimes I prefer not having to get up to do that. Plus, some inks are easier to remove than others, so if I'm stamping with an ink that I know it is easy to clean up. Instead of using my stamp cleaner, I just go ahead and spray the stamp with some water and wipe it off with a sponge or clean cloth like I'm doing here. Usually I prefer saving my stamp cleaner for when I'm stamping with inks that are difficult to remove and I know will not come off with just water. Regardless of how you clean up your stamp, I think it is better if we clean them up immediately after using them because it is just easier to remove the ink and, more importantly, we can immediately place them back in the packaging so we do not risk misplacing our stamps. 
There have been so many times when I had to waste my time looking for stamps that I had misplaced because I did not immediately put them away after using them. And to make it even more frustrating, I was only able to find them days later stuck behind my scoring board or my stamping tool or any other object that I had around. So I tried to avoid that from happening again at all costs and having everything that I need to clean them up right in front of me is very helpful helpful and a time saver. So this is the crafty tip of the day. I hope you like the pump dispenser idea and let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite method or product for cleaning up your stamps. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you do not miss the next one. I hope you have an amazing day and happy crafting!